Are you curious about how I draw my eyes? This is a very weird thing to say if you're not an artist, but perhaps some of you would like to know how I draw my eyes in my style. And I actually have a very specific method and step-by-step -step process for this. So today I'm gonna be sharing it with you guys and hopefully you're able to follow along. So are you ready? Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna be starting off with this drawing that I made of my character Rayon and let's start with the eyes. The first thing I'm gonna do is grab an off-white color and fill in the white of his eyes. Now on a new layer on top of this one, we're going to do the actual eye. So I'm going to grab my first mid-tone color and just fill in his eyes. Okay, so now I'm going to alpha lock this layer so I can't draw outside of it and I'm going to create a small shadow on the top of his eye. I'm just using my brush here to slightly blend this out. It doesn't need to be perfectly smooth though. I like to blend things out very manually, so I don't use an airbrush, I'm just using my normal coloring brush. Next, I'm gonna grab a slightly darker color and create the pupils. I like to zoom out a little bit just so I can see that he's actually looking in the right direction. <laughs> and make sure to flip your canvas just to check. Okay, so now I'm gonna be adding some lines on the side of his eyes. These are kind of shaped like a crescent moon. Now I'm going to add a little bit of reflection in his pupil from the first mid-tone color that I used. And I'm going to add a slight highlight around the pupil too, using that same mid-tone color, only a little bit lighter. Now I'm going to use a new lighter color and make some lines around his iris. These are kind of supposed to be the same shape that our irises naturally have. And this is just to create a little bit of texture on the bottom of his iris. Now I'm going to add my first official little dot highlight thing that eyes are totally covered in. So it's going to go right under the pupil. And I'm also going to add one more. There's going to be a lot of sparkles and highlights in this eyeball, just letting you know. Now on a new layer, I'm going to use the linear dodge layer mode to create some lighting. I'm using a spray texture brush here to create a little bit of glitter and sparkle in his iris. And then I'm going to use my airbrush to just make it a little bit brighter. It makes a pretty big difference. Now I'm going to make another layer and use the multiply layer mode, grab a darker color and then create a little shadow right under his eyelashes. Anyway, now I'm grabbing an off-white color and filling in that first highlight I made right under his pupil so that it stands out a little bit better. And I'm also going to add this circular highlight right on the bottom of his eye, which is something I always do. And now I'm going to add a few more highlights around his pupil. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a new layer on top of my line art, and we're gonna go in to add a few details. So before I do that, I'm actually gonna go back to my line art layer and erase a little bit of the line art, just clean it up a bit because I drew this eye really messy. And now we're gonna go back to that top layer above the line art, and I'm gonna be painting over the line art just so it blends in a little bit better with the eye. I don't want any harsh black lines around his iris, so I'm just gonna smooth everything and blend it out. I am keeping the black part on the top of his eye just because it kind of blends in with the eyelashes, but the bottom part definitely needs to go, so I'm going to try to make the liner a bit lighter there. I'm going to grab my off-white highlight color that I used on his pupil, and we're going to add a few more highlights. So I'm going to add a few highlights to the edge of his irises. Now I'm going to grab an extra dark color and create a little bit of extra shadow on his pupil and the little crescent moon shapes we made. This is just to add a little bit of extra contrast. Now I'm going to be using a complementary color here and adding a few highlights in teal. Since I used teal as the highlights in his hair, I'm going to add a little bit here. It's good to use a color that's already complementary in your actual drawing and then reflect that in the eyes. 
I'm also adding a little bit of an indigo color here. So now on a new layer, I'm going to be adding my favorite little highlight, which is going to be in this diamond shape. After you make your tiny diamond shape, cut out a little cross in the middle of it. Now I alpha lock this layer, choose a secondary color, and I'm going to create a small gradient. This diamond shape is a really great way to catch attention to your eyes, especially if you use a color that is absent in the rest of your drawing. For example, I could use red here because there is no red in this drawing and that would make the eyes really eye-catching. However, I'm not a big fan of red, so instead I'm going to be using a more of a green teal color. I make sure this highlight is really vibrant so that it catches your eyes, even though the color is not super rare in this drawing. Now I'm going to be adding some more white highlights. I'm adding some in a cross shape and some more dots. I'm trying to make these eyes really glittery and sparkly, so I'm kind of just going crazy with this step. Just have fun, honestly. I'm also going to be adding a few more of those teal and indigo highlights near kind of the middle part of his eye, just so we can add a little bit of extra color into his eyes. Alright, so now I'm making a new layer on top of that one, and I'm going to use my lasso tool to create a half circle shape right under his eyelashes. I'm going to turn this into linear dodge layer mode, grab my airbrush, and then create a little bit of a highlight right under his eyelashes. Since the eyes are a rounded shape, we're going to be trying to reflect some light that is coming from the top. So usually this would be a sky blue if your character is standing outside. However, I'm going to be just using a more of an indigo teal color here because that's the color of his hair. I'm going to just say that, that the hair color is reflecting into his eyes. And of course, I'm going to be adding a few more highlights. I make a few touch-ups to the line art just to make it a little bit more light because I think it's still a bit too dark. So I'm just blending in that darker color with the color of his irises. So now it's time to work on the eyelashes. So first I'm going to be using a dark purple color on the inner corners of his eyelashes and blending it slightly with the black. So now I'm going to be taking that same color and I'm going to be adding that to the outer corner of his bottom eyelashes. Now using a slightly warmer and lighter color, I'm going to create a small highlight on the inner corners of his top eyelashes. Using that same color, I'm going to create another highlight near the middle of his eyelashes. And I'm going to blend that out a little bit with some black. Now using that first dark purple color I use, I'm going to create a small highlight on the very outer corner of his top eyelashes. Now I grab a light indigo color and I'm going to outline the shape of his eyelashes. I only blend this part out slightly because I do want the shape to be pretty sharp. Now I'm going to be using a lighter purple and creating a small highlight on the bottom of his eyelashes. On the inner corner of his bottom eyelashes, I'm going in with a lighter purple and blending that out smoothly. Now I'm going to use a warm purple and create another highlight on the bottom of his eyelashes. I'm also going to add the same color to the top of his eyelashes. Now using a off-white color, I'm going to create small highlights on each of his pointy little eyelashes that I drew. So now I'm going to create a new layer and use a linear dodge layer mode. I'm going to lasso tool the top and bottom part of his eyelashes in the center, and using my spray texture brush, I'm going to add a little bit of glitter to his eyes. Then I go in with a hard round brush in a really small size and add a little bit of manual glitter. I use the curves tool to adjust the brightness. Now we're going to go back to the eye white layer, and we're going to be adding a shadow. 
So I'm gonna grab a slightly dark and desaturated purple color and creating a shadow on the top of his eye whites. And I'm gonna be blending that out manually. I'm gonna go in with a darker purple just to create a little bit of extra contrast. Now using the color of his hair, I'm gonna create a reflection in the shadow just to add some more color. I'd recommend using the color of either the ambient light, like the sky or the light source, or the color of your character's hair if they have really vibrant hair like mine does. <laughs> I'm also going to add pure white to the middle part of his eye whites. I'm going to add a few extra highlights on top of his eyelashes, and I'm also going to add some in his irises. Alright, well, I hope that was a helpful tutorial for you guys. I tried my best to explain the entire process as well as I could, but sometimes I think you just gotta watch and learn. <laughs> but yeah, thank you so much for watching this. If this was helpful to you, please leave a like on the video. And with that being said, guys, I hope you have an amazing day, and I will see you all next time. Bye!